Hello and welcome back. So I'm here with this very important reaction and as a fan who has followed Star Wars Rebels from season one, it would be remiss of me if I didn't go through with just this last uh, clip from the finale of Star Wars Rebels in season four and you know it's been quite a journey so I'm going to react to this but before I go into it if you're new here be sure to click that subscribe button turn on your notifications to keep you updated on any new upload as well as check out this channel's Twitter account and you will never miss a new upload so let's go into this one and I'll give you my thoughts in three two one let's go The attack we all anticipated never came. The once invincible empire had begun to fracture. The small rebellion had become bold. And with a decisive victory at the Battle of Endor, the Emperor's reign of terror came to an end. After the war, Zeb took Callus along the secret hyperspace path to the planet Lyrison. It was then that Callus realized he hadn't destroyed the Lasat people, and that they were thriving on this new world. A world where he was welcome as one of them. Hera fought in the Battle of Endor, as did Commander Rex. By that time, there had been a new member added to the crew of the Ghost. Spectre 7, Jason Sindula. Cool. Born to fly, just like his mother. And well, we all know what his father was like. As for me, I used to think that Ezra was counting on me to protect Lothal, the planet and the people he cared for so much. Aww. But one day, I realized there was more to it. There was something else I was meant to do. Ezra's out there somewhere, and it's time to bring him home. perfect Star Wars-esque ending and wow that is just such a mystery of what happened to uh, Ezra and you know what happened when he and Thrawn just went off with you know the space whales <laughs> what happened so that is a big big gap that needs to be filled in and I'm thinking that Dave Filoni is gonna just take that baton and move on probably with a new animated series on fleshing that whole arc out because there is just a big story that needs to be told there a lot to unpack so I love this very emotional just seeing that mural there and thinking of Kanan a main character in this and I came to love that character so much on how he was such a father figure to Ezra and you know just how this whole story revolved around Lothal and how they were able to defeat the Empire and tie in so wonderfully well with you know Rogue One and A New Hope so that is so so very interesting and I cannot wait to see what next Lucasfilm has in store for us as they start off the streaming service so I want to know what you guys are expecting do you think we may get that Ahsoka and Sabine spinoff because I think it would be amazing just seeing Ahsoka back here and just how that character has grown with us from the Clone Wars and how we've come to love and respect this character. I want to see more of Ahsoka so I, I'm hoping to see you know Lucasfilm announce something really special concerning her soon. That is my hope. A lot of hopes we've been having guys. I want an Obi-Wan film. You know there's just so much. I want to see an interim film 
between the time of uh, Anakin uh, turning to the dark side and, you know, him hunting the Jedi. There's just so much I want to see, but that's me personally. But back to this, really excited to see what they're going to do moving forward. And I think that that's a, a massive setup. That is not something that they're just going to put out there and not, you know, tie a neat little bow on it. So look forward to some great announcements coming soon. Looking forward as well to the trilogy they've given Ryan Johnson. There's just so much to explore. And I think that they should really look into giving us new stories and, you know, just fresh takes on, you know, this universe that we've come to know and love. So back to this, I loved it. I will miss Star Wars Rebels. It was so pivotal in the Star Wars universe and the fact that Dave Filoni worked so well with his whole team, the cast, the people doing the voiceover, they worked really, really hard on this and they brought their A-game and we know how we feel about this show. For me, it will always remain as a really highly ranked show in my heart and I will miss it so much. But thanks for the memories, guys. Thanks for all to watching this with me. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. I would love to read them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe. It helps up my channel and I will catch you in my next one. God bless.